Hello, in this chapter of the ProEdge video, we will show you several useful hints and tips how to sharpen, profile and reprofile bowl, spindle and roofing gouges and the skew. We all know that having correctly sharpened tools is essential to enjoying all types of woodworking. At Robert Sorby, we produce two sharpening grinds on our bowl and spindle gouges. They are standard and fingernail. The standard grind is easily achieved with the use of the standard gouge jig V-block. The fingernail profile which is produced in the Robert Sorby factory is very simply replicated using the fingernail profiling arm. We can see on the fingernail profiled bow gouge that the wings are swept further back to move the danger point further apart and to give more cutting edge. The three danger points, the tip and the two shoulders, are where a catch could occur, so by moving them further apart limits the chance of a catch. The wings on the fingernail should be straight like this, so that a constant cutting surface is maintained. Unfortunately, on some occasions, when correct form isn't achieved or a non-Robert Sorby gouge is used, some error can be brought into the sharpening process and unusual shapes are produced such as these. We can see here that the wings are not straight but either dip or rise in the middle. Another common issue is a very pointed nose which also makes a tool much more difficult to use and sometimes totally unusable. Along similar lines, the roofing gouge can lose its shape if the centre is sharpened much more than the two sides. Another tool that often causes problems in sharpening is the skew, and particularly the oval skew, where undesired shapes are produced. We will now look at how you can simply and easily regain the factory shape of all these tools, and then sharpen them. Firstly, we will look at the fingernail profile bowl gouge. Whether the gouge has wings with a dip or a rise, here is a quick way to reprofile to the factory standard. What looks to be the obvious answer is to grind the high spots away, but this still doesn't necessarily give the correct grind and is still a great deal of guesswork. A much quicker and highly accurate method is to give yourself a guide to work to. Firstly, ensure a coarse 60 grit zirconium or ceramic belt is fitted, then set the tool platform to 45 degrees. Next, place the standard gouge jig into the platform. Take the gouge to be reprofiled and place it upside down, or flute down, onto the platform and slide it up to the side of the V-block. The side of the V-block is used as a straight guide for this method. Now switch on the Pro Edge and push the gouge up to the belt. Only do a little and check the progress. Keep doing a little and checking each time until there is a complete flat spot all the way around showing a horseshoe looking shape around the edge. Now we can see that the tool has perfectly flat wings again. The flat face shows us exactly where we need to remove material to give us a sharp cutting edge. Now you can remove the V-block and the tool platform ready to install the fingernail profiling jig. Slide the locating boss onto the bar ready for the fingernail profiling arm. Slide the gouge through the clamp and using the Pro Set you can easily set the tool protrusion to give us a 45 degree bevel angle. Lock the tool in place, slide the arm into the boss and you are now ready to profile the gouge. The flat face of the horseshoe shows exactly where you need to remove material to achieve a sharp cutting edge. The best way to achieve perfect form when using the fingernail profile jig is not to swing from side to side but to think of the gouge as three separate sections, right wing, left wing and the nose. By doing each section individually a much greater degree of control over the shape is achieved. Switch on the Pro Edge and start on the right wing. Then take the tool away from the belt and do the left wing. Then away and finally the nose. Check the horseshoe and see where you still need to remove material and where you don't. 
flat surfaces reflect light, but sharp edges don't, so it makes it a very easy guide to see where you still have work to do and how much. Continue the first procedure with the 1, 2, 3 until virtually all the flat surface is removed. Now put on a 120 grit zirconium or ceramic belt to finish off the gouge and put a good sharp cutting edge on it. Blend all three sections with one sweep of the jig to give a perfectly ground fingernail profile gouge. Now you can use a similar principle for the spindle roughing gouge. With a coarse 60 grit belt on the pro edge, set the angle to 90 degrees and place the V-block back onto the tool platform. Turn the roofing gouge upside down, switch on the pro edge and slide the tool up to the belt as before, ensuring that you attain a flat horseshoe all the way around. Once you have the horseshoe all the way around, you can set the tool platform to 45 degrees and place the gouge into the standard gouge jig ready to profile. As with the bow gouge, you will do this as 1, 2, 3. Once you are close to removing all the flat face, put the finer belt on and repeat 1, 2, 3 to obtain a perfect shape and sharp edge. The skew can also benefit from a similar procedure when a loss of shape and profile occurs, particularly with the hardest to sharpen, the oval skew. With the coarse belt on the pro edge, set the tool platform to 90 degrees and place the skew jig into the slot. As with the other tools, hold the skew against the jig and gently push up to the belt and in exactly the same way as previously, do a little at a time and keep taking it away until you have a flat face all along the edge. Now you have your guide to where you need to sharpen and how much needs to be removed to give a sharp edge. Set the tool platform to 15 degrees as stated on the angle setter information at the front of the machine. For comfort lay the belt assembly down. Rest the tool against the jig and with your hand on the blade and in line with the tool you have greater control. Keep your finger in the middle of the shaft to limit any rocking motion which would cause problems when sharpening this tool. Sliding the tool down the side of the jig Allow the bevel to sit flat on the belt. This will greatly assist in the stability of the tool during sharpening. Allow the coarse abrasive belt to do what it is designed to by doing a little on each side ensuring an even grind on both sides. Once you are close to the required profile, change to a finer belt to finish off the tool giving a sharp cutting edge. The Pro Edge system, together with all Robert Sorby products, are available from all main Robert Sorby stockists worldwide, a list of which can be found on our website. For more Robert Sorby product videos, along with useful hints and tips, go to the Robert Sorby YouTube channel.